Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show the basic steps for connecting a MIDI keyboard with Band in a Box. Before we begin, it's always best to make sure that any other DAW or DAUW program that could be using your MIDI keyboard is closed, just to make sure that the info from the keyboard is being sent to Band in a Box and not somewhere else. To begin, we'll go up to the Options menu the MIDI audio driver setup. Now my keyboard is the X key. You should see the name of your keyboard under the MIDI input driver box. Now in terms of output drivers, that is the type of MIDI sound that you hear, whether you're using a MIDI keyboard, a MIDI track from Band in a Box, or an imported MIDI file. Some people like to use the Microsoft GS Wavetable Sound, but personally I like to use Coyote. So to set up Coyote, just make sure these two checkboxes are checked for use VSPI slash DXI Synth and route MIDI through to MIDI Driver. Now, if these brackets in this VSPI slash DXI Synth button is empty in the brackets here, you click that button and you'll see this window where you can select the uh, synth. So I like Coyote, it's provided with Band in a Box at the moment. If you have Cakewalk installed, some users prefer to use TTS-1, but I'm going to use Coyote. Then once you have that selected, click OK. You will then see the pop-up for your synth, and you can just exit out of that. Now my settings all look good, both for input and output, so I'll click OK. And now if I press any key on my keyboard, I'll be able to hear it. Uh, that is all good in setup if all I want to do is just practice my keyboarding skills with the Band in the Box backing tracks and play along with them. But now let's uh, move on to how to record with your MIDI keyboard. So you may be wondering, where is this MIDI sound coming from? It goes through the through track on the mixer window. If you don't see through, click the eye icon in the bottom right hand corner. And you can select through here or select show all. Uh, I'll just select through and since I plan to record, let's bring up a couple utility tracks as well. There we go. So now when I press keys on my keyboard, you will see the uh, volume meter light up on this through track. There you go. So. Right now I'm in the modern view and the record button up here uh, is this red circle icon. If I quickly switch back to the classic view, it is again this red circle icon and it has record MIDI underneath it. As a little aside, how I quickly switched between modern and classic views is the keyboard shortcut control and the letter T as in Thomas, but since I prefer the modern view, I'll go back to that and click the record button. This pulls up a window that is meant for recording both audio and MIDI. Since I'm not recording audio in this drop down menu, I'll change it to none. And then I need to set the record MIDI drop down menu to the track that I want to record my new MIDI track to. So I'll select Utility 1. Now there are a few other settings up here at the top. Uh, you could select a specific bar and chorus to start from if you want to start recording in the middle of your song, but for this demonstration I'll just start from the beginning. And then once you're ready, just click Record.
And then once you're ready to stop, just click the stop button at the top. And now this brings up this window where if you didn't like your recording and want to do it again, you can click uh, take again. Or if you're happy with it, click OK, keep take. If you listen back on it and decide that you actually don't like it after all, you can always re-record afterwards. And now I can see here that my utility one is a piano patch, and I don't really want it to play on piano. How about I change that by first clicking on the track in the mixer window. And actually, let's remove the view meter. Okay, and then uh, go to Select MIDI Instrument Patch. You can choose one of the favorite patches from the bottom of the list here, but I prefer the Select General MIDI Patch in order to get uh, the full list of possibilities. Let's say, for instance, I want Flute. Select that and click OK. And now uh, when I play back my recording, it will sound like a flute. Nice. So since I have my recorded um, flute as like a slow intro and then my melody, the melody that I previously generated is also using a flute track. It sounds like a nice slow intro going to um, something more interesting at bar 5. So those are the steps for setting up a MIDI keyboard with Band in a Box for Windows. If you have any questions about this, please let us know in the comments section below.